This year was a year of resilience for us. Our brand is stronger than ever. We've never been more prepared to execute on growth volume in the way that we are today. We're an industry leader and our destination is growth. 2023 was a tough freight environment for us. When you have challenges, it either pulls people apart or pulls them together. And we really came together as an organization. Planning going into the year, we really expected our customers' demand to be stronger than what it ended up being. Very, very challenging year. Nothing that we hadn't seen before. We know we're gonna come out stronger on the other side. Our people, they've been resilient. When you have challenges in an environment like we've had, it really shows who you are. We look to support our people because we know our people will support our customers. Our customers, they trust our people. They trust our brand and our brand is made up by 35,000 of us working hard every day to deliver value for our customers. We're building stronger. We're getting ready. We want to make sure we're ready and offensive. We are going to stay committed to our most important component of our company, and that's our people. It's so rewarding to see the company celebrating the people and their accomplishments, even during this freight recession. We know that you are the face and the heartbeat of our company. We love you. We appreciate you. Enjoy your million mile moment. We proved in 23 we're resilient. Each and every one of our employees adapted with us. I just saw it over and over and over. How much our people care? You know, we focus on our people, we take great care of our customers, and I think that's what we've done this year. When times get rough, you gotta be creative. We stay focused, stay true to our values. We're gonna work through it and we'll show everybody that we've done it before and we'll do it again. As we were coming through a freight recession, we want to think about how to be more efficient on behalf of our customers. We adapt to all the pressures, less freight, lower prices, costs going up, but those are the challenges that we live for. We launched Elevation 2.0 this year. Everybody from the company participated, so we opened it up to, to generate ideas from anyone who had an idea. Nearly 6,000 different ideas from our people to say, you know what, I think this would make us a better company. This would make us more efficient on behalf of our customers. It's all about looking at things from the customer's lens. And in 2023, we're bringing Quantum back to create a completely unprecedented level of consistency that can take care of our customers' most service-sensitive highway freight. Freight that they've never thought about putting on the train. It's our products, our services, our people are all seen as leaders. And our technology has been recognized as something that really empowers our people and empowers our capacity. Our investments in JB Hunt 360 and in Match have afforded us to be able to increase productivity, but also enhance our carriers and our customers' experience and how they interact and work with JB Hunt. One of the leverage points we found with the platform is with our 360 Box program. 360 Box has been a great story for us. We added some trailers this year. We'll benefit from that in the next up cycle because we'll have the capacity to deliver. Excellent service, customer value delivery, great people on site, great drivers taking care of everyone, and through that, we're able to grow and flourish. We acquired certain assets from BNSF Logistics. Really excited about welcoming those new employees to us and the services and capabilities that they have that extend our reach. We introduced inward-facing cameras. We saw exceptional safety results. We're continuing to invest and buy containers and chassis because we know on the other side is going to be a lot of freight. What if we tried to collaborate and attack this appointment scheduling issue? We started a scheduling consortium. I'm proud to say that we've identified those standards and we've started the adoption process. The building of the work that we've done in 2023, you'll start to see a lot of that come to fruition in 2024. We have strong foundations that allow us to think from a long-term perspective. How do we disrupt for our future? and what makes us really strong again. So you see us coming out with new products and services and how we're thinking about adding capacity. We're doing that in a freight recession. We are industry leaders in intermodal and dedicated. We're one of the industry leaders in final mile. We're an industry leader in highway services. We're well positioned. This year was a year of resilience for us. We really fought hard to maintain our share, but also just proved to our customers the value that we can create for them. 
Knowing that these cycles come and go, remaining disciplined, but keeping a, a real invested focus on the long term, taking care of our people, taking care of our technology, making sure our capacity is at the right levels and growing. We're ready to move into 2024 with a renewed sense of, of excitement around growing the business. We're set up to have a phenomenal 2024. This is Shea Behind. This is who we are.